How's it sound? Well, I'm, 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 I'm hearing it and then not only hearing a bit of it. So Guy, it's I'm so Yeah, less silent, more violins. I sat down with him and I said, what do you want here? And he said, well, look, guy, this is a 1968 caper movie, but I want it to capture all those things that the films of the 60s had. A little bit of Pink Panther, a little bit of Ipris Far, a little bit of Bullet, all these sort of things. What a great thing to be able to write. Music that I grew up loving by some of these great composers. OK, right, let's just have a listen to this. I need to make sure I can hear all these alto flutes. <coughs> I think they can be a little bit, you can be a bit, these, these quavers are just too short. And even that, those, that's too short there. So I think we need to just lengthen it and make it a little bit more legato. So um, let's have, a, let me just hear this up into bar two from bar two. One of bar two. Three, four. It's been such a journey to get here, and uh, so you know, I welled up on a couple of occasions. Couldn't believe it. And when you hear the music, you know, for real, and it's it's a very very exciting part of the process of filmmaking. It's going to have that very 60s sound to it. Oh, you know, even though this is a great room, it's still sounding the reverb sounding quite short in here. Every time I hear the sound of Studio One, I kind of smile because it's just got its own sound and it's expensive and filmic and dramatic. It, it has all the things, I can just hear that big build up in the background there. You, you just, you, you, the sound finds somewhere to go.